shark attacks to be rebranded as negative encounters to show more understanding for predators. You know, I'm just going to hop off the ledge of my window right now and just see what happens. Because at this point, it's like the human race is just on a fast train heading straight for a brick wall. What's going on, boys and girls? So I was today years old when I found out that people are now going to be referring to shark attacks as negative encounters or interactions. Some parts of Australia will even go as far as to call them bites and not attacks. And news outlets across the world are saying that they want to change the predator's image as a man-eating monster. Oh, but Jonathan, how is this dumb? Because it is. Do you understand how dumb this is? This is one of those changes that shouldn't even be a thing. It's something we don't have to change. This isn't even catering to any group of humans, maybe besides PETA, but fuck PETA. It's catering to sharks. We're just changing stuff to change stuff at this point. There's no real reason why anymore. And before all of the environmentalist bitches get up in my comments section, I know sharks aren't man-eating monsters. Sharks provide a lot of benefits to ocean ecosystems. If you see a shark in the wild, it means that the ocean is pretty clean. Sharks basically clean up the sick and weak animals, and help the balance of the animal kingdom. And if the shark population just spontaneously combusts for some random reason, that's going to cause a lot of problems, like algae spreading rapidly. And because sharks don't exist anymore because they spontaneously combusted for whatever reason, the prey that the sharks used to feed on are now dominant and will probably wipe out every small species they normally consume because there's nothing at the top of the food chain to keep the balance in the ecosystem. How the fuck do I know all of this? Because I went to public high school. They taught us this stuff in science class. And yet yeah, I saw Jaws too. But let me tell you something. The movie is not accurate with statistics. It's just an entertaining movie. Sharks barely attack humans. It is so rare to be attacked by a shark because they just don't normally fuck with humans. You have a better chance of taking a broomstick up the asshole by a woman in a Chuck E. Cheese mascot costume than to be attacked by a shark. So if you're one of those people that saw Jaws and is just afraid of sharks because of that movie, don't listen to the movie. It was made for your entertainment. In the rare event that a person is bitten by a shark, it's a shark attack, meaning that the shark attacked a human. It is a negative interaction. Sure, yes, but don't try to sugarcoat something serious and make it edible for younger kids or people who are just so sensitive to anything negative. They're shark attacks. If Steven Spielberg actually brought back dinosaurs to life and they started eating people, would you call it a negative dinosaur interaction or a dinosaur attack? Yes, yeah, suck my ass. If a person dies in a war because someone shot them, is it a negative interaction or an attack? Again, please, feel free to suck my asshole. Yes, sharks have feelings. Yes, they are important. And yes, they rarely attack humans. They are such an important important creature to the animal kingdom and honestly we shouldn't be giving them a bad rep in the first place because they're not really bad we just make them bad probably because of the movie jaws and because of the rare event that a shark attacks a human if a shark attacks a human it's plastered all over the news i'm still going to refer to them as shark attacks because I'm not a sensitive little bitch. We're not going to start becoming offended on behalf of the shark kingdom. That's where I draw the line with humans. I've spent the last five years online watching videos and reading articles about how society has basically kicked the bucket. How people are changing things in society to cater to everyone. Which, don't get me wrong, a lot of these changes are very, very good. But this is one of those things that is just so stupid. It doesn't affect me personally because I'm not forced to call them shark interactions. But I just think that if it isn't broken, don't try to fix it. Maybe start educating people in schools about how sharks are good and not scary. Instead of changing words for people who just can't take hard to swallow pills. And if you're looking for my honest opinion on the ocean, I love the ocean. I used to go to the ocean every year. I would swim in the ocean, and I would never worry about what lied under my feet. And lastly, I know I sound like a triggered fascist or a libtard lizard something, but listen, I'm not. I just think that this is really dumb. This is a really dumb change. Does it affect me personally? No, not in the slightest. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and probably forget that I even made a video on this. But is it stupid? Yeah, it's really stupid. Are people gonna keep calling shark attacks shark attacks? Yeah, 100%. Negative interactions doesn't have a ring to it. It's so bland and mundane, like an e-girl's personality. Anyway, if you think this is stupid, leave a like on the video. Seriously, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, follow me on all of my social links, and join my zesty Discord server. Links are in the description below. Have a great day, everyone. And remember that sharks aren't bad at all. They're really nice.